You're now a graduate assistant going for your MBA at Prairie View A&M. Obviously, being here has meant a lot to you. Tell us about that. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's not even measurable. Um, you know, the experience I've had here at Prairie View and being fortunate enough to be a grad assistant and work, you know, coach football and work on our football operations side. Uh, you know, it means the world to get to experience, you know, the culture at Prairie View at HBCU being a minority. It, it's something that, you know, it's insurmountable. Uh, you know, the experience, you know, and learn to be dedicated and playing, being a student athlete is, uh, you know, that, that takes a big toll. And, you know, at Prairie View, you know, it, it's, it's, they make you fight for your grades and you have to go to class daily and they do take attendance, which is very different from, you know, most schools. So it, it's definitely, it was a great experience and, you know, turned from, you know, boy to a man coming here. How would you rate the education you've received here? First of all, our, our class numbers are smaller here. So you look into 30 to 1 student ratio with, you know, highly educated professors. So I, you know, I give at least an 8 out of 10 as far as the education. What was the greatest thing about going to school here at Prairie View A&M? Oh, that's, uh, that's a pretty easy answer to uh, question to answer. It was uh, winning conference championship 2009 uh, here at Prairie View, which, uh, you know, coming from worst to first, which everybody knows the, the history of the longest losing streak in the NCAA history, which was Prairie View. And when I got here, it took, you know, two years to finally win a conference championship. And that was probably the, you know, the best experience and the best thing that ever happened to me at Prairie View.